Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so today's video is something completely new, never tried before, never done before. I've got some new product here I wanna tell you guys about. Um, so I found this company. Now I found this company thanks to Kathleen from Cause Creations. When I went over to Florida to hang out with her, she had done this really cool painting with this, you know, this stuff from this company and I loved it. So I reached out and I got some stuff from the company. Now, the company is called Pour Away Fluid Arts. So I'm going to say Pour Away Fluid Arts. Okay. And I will put their information in the description below. But I want to show you guys, I got um, five things, I think. Um, starting with, let me show you, um, let's, let's start with, oh, let's start with this. So this is the paint runs pattern. I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see it. So it's like paint drips. It's really cool. Um, so I'm going to be working on this one today on this wooden board. Now here's the thing though, all the pieces come in this copperish color gold color okay um they don't make it in any other color it's just this copper color so what i did is i took this one here it was copper like i said and i just got some spray paint this is pebeo spray paint uh chrome chrome uh silver chrome Chrome silver so I just got this from Pebeo and I took this outside on a piece of cardboard and I spray painted it and I turned it silver so you can basically color it anything you want it took one coat like you can see if I turn it around upside down you can see it's kind of gold in certain spots but um, but yeah I spray painted it silver because I, I didn't want it to be gold so this one like I said is called paint runs pattern and then I'll move this off so you can see better. This one here, if I can pick it up, is called Honeycomb, right? So this one I'm gonna do on a circle round and it comes with, hold on. Okay, Honeycomb and bees. So you get some bees with it. So how cute are these little guys? Right, so that's gonna be really cool. And I'm gonna do that on a circle round. So I'm gonna give that a go at some point. And I'm gonna leave these ones gold or bronze, whatever you, copper, I don't know what this is, copper or bronze, but anywho. So I'm gonna do that. And then let me show you what else I got. So then there is this it's called the wave pattern so it is a wave can you even see that there you go the wave so that's going to be interesting you can fill it in with different color blues of resin and then this one is called the donut pattern look at this so it's made out of plastic like it's probably 3d printer but yeah Look how cool that is. So if you did that on a round or an oval or heck, even the square, and then you just fill in each slot with a different color, it'll be super, super neat. And then the last one I got is a two piece. Um, this one's really cool. It's gonna be hard to show you because it's two pieces and it's longer than this actual square, but it's um, Twister Resin called the twister um it goes kind of like this so it's kind of like a a musical notes pattern I guess you could say and then it's got like a ribbon running through it now if you want to see how some of these look um completed they actually have a YouTube channel and you can go to their YouTube channel I'll put that in the description below as well and then you can see a tutorial on how to make these, but I'm gonna also show you how to make um, this one in today's video. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So 
what I have here is a, I think this is a 14, yes, this is a 14 by 14 inch wood board. I'd pick it up, but I've got it nicely level and I don't want to mess with it. And I have done two coats of just black Amsterdam paint because I'm going to cover this in black resin. I have taped the sides and the bottom, all right, because I want to leave the natural wood look when this is done. So I did put two coats of black paint on this. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and I'll probably speed you guys up, do a voiceover, you know, whatever. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get crystal resin. I'm going to mix a little bit of it and put my black pigment paste in it and I am going to cover this whole top board with black resin and then I'm going to give it about three to four hours to get you know tacky and like almost kind of cured but tacky and then I'm going to come back I'm going to set a timer on my watch and come back when it's like tacky and I am going to carefully drop that on top right and make sure it's like perfectly centered and I'm going to put that like that and that will stick to the resin all right so that is what I'm going to do once it's done cured like the next day then I'm going to do the next step so for now let's just do that part so I'm probably like I said going to do voiceover or just play music um but yeah that's what I'm doing so I shall be right back I'm going to mix some resin and I'll be right back Alrighty, so I've got my tabletop crystal resin here and I have mixed up a batch of the resin and I've added black pigment paste to it. Um, crystal resin usually sells it. I don't know if it's out of stock on their website, but if it is, you can just go to Amazon and just do an Amazon search for resin pigment paste resin paste and then just pick any brand um, I don't recommend using acrylic paint to tint your resin um, you should actually get a paste I also don't prefer um, a black pigment powder um, I just prefer a paste that's just me um, so now that that's ready I'm going to cover my board with the black and don't ask me how much I mixed because I don't measure that kind of stuff. Um, but there is a resin calculator. Uh, if you go to the Art Resin website, there is a calculator there that'll tell you how much resin you need for a specific surface. But I don't measure anything. So now I'm gonna heat it up with the heat gun so that it is uh, easily spreadable. Right? And I don't know why I'm not wearing an apron. It's pretty silly of me. I don't think I was planning on doing this today, but I figured I would get it started. So uh, now I'm just going to use my fingers with my gloves here and I'm going to spread out the resin. Now I don't really, I'm not concerned about getting the sides covered because my sides are taped off. So I don't have to worry about the sides, which is great. Just got to evenly distribute the resin like so. And I'm debating whether I should wait three or four hours until it gets tacky to put the piece down or if I should just put it down now. Um, my board here is level. So if I put it down now, then it should be fine. It shouldn't move. I only I worry about if I wait for it to get tacky and sticky you've got one shot if you mess up putting that on here once it's like sticky and tacky um, you're not gonna be able to move it again so that is the only thing I worry about at least if I put it down now I can fidget with it and why did I take off my glove I don't know anywho now I'm going to pop the bubbles with a torch I could pop it with the heat gun again, but you can just pop them really quickly with the torch. All right, and 
I know you're probably getting like light, dark, this, this thing, see? Like that. Anywho, okay, let's, um, I think I'm gonna do it now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it now, but I gotta take this glove off. I feel like I can't, I'm not holding this properly with a glove on. All right, at least if it, I don't put it exactly center, I can kind of move it, right? Whoa, I almost dropped it in there. That would have sucked. All right. Yeah, this shouldn't move at all, actually. So yeah, I'm kind of glad I'm doing it this way. And oh boy, I think I actually did it perfectly. Did I really? It doesn't even look crooked or anything. It looks, how did I do that in one shot? That's pretty good, actually. Good job there, Canela. All right, so. I think that is good. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do anything. All right, I'm only hoping because this silver thing isn't really that thick. So I'm hoping there's enough depth in here to add some colored resin. I guess we'll find out soon enough. But yeah, um, mm -hmm. starting to wonder. It's pretty, pretty thick, the resin, like pretty high up. All right, well, we'll see what happens. So. I will let this cure overnight. I am not coming into the studio at all for the rest of the night because I don't want any dog hairs or fibers falling into this. So let's let that cure and I'll be back tomorrow with the next step. All right, everybody, back for the next step. It is the next day and this is now dry and cured. Now I'm a little worried about certain spots, especially up here because the resin layer I put down was I guess thick and now it's almost barely has a lip over here so I'm really hoping that when I add color into this one the resin doesn't flow over this teeny tiny lip down here it's okay there's definitely enough lip down here but up here in certain spots it is thin so I'm a little worried so it's it's gonna be a process it's gonna be very slow slow process um up here to make sure i don't overflow it and it doesn't leak over because that would really suck so what i have is i've got my resin i've got 10 little cups because there's i by counted right there's 10 light 10 um rows so one two three four five six seven eight nine and then this last one ten so i'm doing the colors of the rainbow and i am using my TLP piggies. Um, so I haven't really used them much in resin. Actually, I lied. I did this yesterday. Might as well show it to you while I'm at it. I did this super cool. Um, now my brain, <laughs> my brain's not working. Jellyfish. Oh my gosh. Jellyfish. Isn't that cool? Look how cool that is. So I used shallow casting resin from Crystal Resin, and here's the mold. There's the mold from Fluid Art Co. So Fluid Art Dash Co. Um, and yeah, it takes a lot of resin though. Be warned. But isn't that cool? And I used pigments from TLB. So that turned out to be pretty neat. Um, but yeah, let me show you or tell you the colors I'm using. So for red, uh, maraschino or maraschino, that's the red. Then I have mango, then submarine, followed by emerald, then lakeside. Beautiful color, lakeside. Then I have a dark blue submarine. Okay, so submarine. And then this one's one of their new colors, crescendo. Never tried this one, so we'll see how that pans out. Violet Rain, nice dark purple, one of my favorites. Fairy Floss, light pink. And then one of my all-time favorites, 
sangria. So those are the colors I'm using. I'll just move them up here out of my way. Okay, and I put them all into these little shot glass cups, okay, with my popsicle stick, just a heaping um, popsicle stick full on the end. So I am going to mix up some resin and then I'll pour resin in each one of these. Now you don't need a lot of resin because you're basically just putting very little amount to fill the top. So how much resin do you need? Couldn't tell you. I'm just going to make a little batch of it and um, figure it out. And if I have any leftovers, I will get a silicone mold, a small little silicone mold and empty out all the colors into a mold and make something out of it. So that way the resin doesn't go to waste. So I'm going to mix my crystal resin and I will be right back. So I will fast forward you guys for this part. All right, so that is now mixed up. Stirred that for about three to four minutes. So now I'm going to add the resin into these little cups. Now I'm not gonna do all of them just yet. I'll do like the first three, just to see if I don't need this much resin or I need a little more resin. I don't wanna disperse it all just yet. So I'll just do three for now. And now you gotta, you gotta mix, it's always best to put the powder in first and then the resin on top. That way you're not getting a cloud of powder up your face and in your nose because it's not really um, a good idea to breathe any of this stuff in. So keep that in mind. If you wanna wear a mask, it's probably a good idea um, when you're working with pigments and powders because you know, you don't want these little particles going in your nose and in your mouth or in your eyes or whatever. I mean, I, I don't have a mask on obviously because then you wouldn't be able to hear me very well. So let me just mix these three up. All right, so I've got those three and now, so this is where it's gonna get interesting. So I'm going to carefully add a little bit of red into this whole first piece here without dripping anywhere, first of all. Maybe I'd be like smart to put like a piece of paper or something, I don't know, just to be safe. What if I drip something here? You know, accidents happen. So I, instead of pouring out of the cup, I'm just going to drizzle with my popsicle stick. Now, yes, this, this actually could take forever. So I, I'm probably obviously going to speed you guys up for a lot of these parts, but don't overflow it because if you do, you can have a problem. You can always add more, but you can't really take it out. As I went over here. Okay, no problem. I fixed it. All right, and then you can get like these little bamboo skewers to help push the resin where you need it to go. See, look, see what happened? You see that? Look at that. See? Follow me, my friends, and if I screw up, you'll be seeing it here firsthand so that you don't screw up too. <laughs> and I screwed up again. See, I got red. over here. Not the end of the world as long as you can clean it up because the next color is going to go under that. So it's fine, but just you got to be careful. All right, just be careful. Yeah, these little crevices are going to be hard. All right, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to um, speed you guys up. All right, 
red is done. So the amount of resin I put in that was perfect. Each layer is going to be different because it's a completely different design. So I'm going to keep going and you know, now, now that I think about it, um, this mixing this much at once was probably not the greatest idea because it will flash cure on me. The more you leave in the cup, the faster it's going to cure. So now that I know that this is a good amount per cup, I'm going to just disperse all of it so that it doesn't flash cure on me super quick. Um, but by the time I get to pink here at the bottom, I may have a little bit of a problem. So you might wanna do this, break it up. For sure. I won't stir them yet. I'll just leave them like this in the little cups. And I will stir them when I get to the color I need. Uh, yeah, so yeah, don't mix such a big batch. Do it, I don't know, five colors at a time. All right, I'm gonna speed you guys up. You guys can watch me do the rest of this in um, sped up time. All right, everybody, I am finally done. It has been over an hour-ish, no joke. Um, so let me tell you what I've learned. <laughs> First of all, your back is going to be killing you. My back is hurting. First of all. Second of all, um, do not do what I did and mix enough resin to do all, how many colors are there? Two, four, six, eight, all 12 colors. Don't do it. By the time I got to Sangria here at the bottom and the pink and kind of the purple, it was so thick and stringy and it was cured. Like it was just really thick and super hard to work with. Um, so do a few colors at a time. Maybe do three at a time, take a break, come back the next day, do the next, the other ones because I'm telling you, my back is hurting. Um, and by the time, like I said, by the time I got to the end, it was very thick and tacky, which made it extremely difficult to do the last three lines or so. And then because I did it all in one shot and I'm so tired and my back's hurting, I found I was making more mistakes down here at the end. As you probably saw in the sped up version, I was trying to fix a lot of parts here. 
um, but I managed to make it perfect. So I'm really happy with it. I will bring you guys in for a close up. Um, but yeah, don't don't do what I did. Take don't be a hero. <laughs> do like three lines at a time, because um, it'll your back will thank you. So let me bring you guys in for a close up. Alrighty then. So I am absolutely loving it. Now, as you can see, or as you saw. In between each layer, I was torching it and torching all the bubbles. So it would be a good idea to torch it. I wouldn't use the heat gun because it might blow it over one of the lines and you'll make a mess. So just use the, the torch. Um, and another thing I find is I use that violet rain, the really, really, really dark purple. And it's so dark purple, it almost looks black. So... I would choose a different purple and maybe even a different blue. The sapphire looked super pretty, but um, it's kind of looking a little black to me. So um, it is what it is. But overall, I like the way this turned out. I think it's super cool. So now my question to myself is, once this is cured and dry, do I do a final top coat of clear? I have not figured that out yet. I don't know if I want to leave it 3D feeling-ish because if I put a clear coat on top, it's going to be like a smooth finish or maybe it may not, you know what, the more that I think about it, the more I'm not going to do it actually because what if it's deeper over here and more shallow over here and it's not a, you know, an even layer. So no, I'm going to leave it. So I'm going to let this cure and then I'll be back and I'll show you guys how to peel the tape off the sides. So next step coming up. All right, final step. This is done and dry and cured. This is what the back looks like. So I am basically going to find an edge. All right, like so. And I'm going to heat the side Heat the side up and then you'll see it'll peel off like butter, all right? All right, so just start anywhere and nice, clean, edges. Isn't it great? It's so satisfying. All right, I'm going to speed you guys up while I do the rest of the other three sides. everybody look at that clean not a single drip of resin anywhere it's perfect i love it i gotta turn my watch off thinks i'm still taking the dogs for a walk anywho sorry I'm back to the uh task at hand but yeah look at it it's so perfect i love it so that's it um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Now, if you want to purchase anything from Pour Away Fluid Arts and you want to try any of these, there is a discount code. Um, the owner gave me a discount for you guys, a code. Uh, you can save 10% using Canela 10. So if you go on their website, which again, I'll put the information in the description below, you can save 10% off using code Canela 10 check out all the amazing patterns they have it's really really cool i can't wait to do the beehive one that'll be an upcoming video at some point after i get back from seattle but it is amazing so i hope you guys enjoyed it this piece is available for purchase for anyone who is interested let me know in the comments below what you thought about this and if you like it and any of anything else you want to let me know um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this different type of video. Um, leave your comments below and Canela 10 for a discount. That is it for me. 
for now. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.